everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samia Adaridia and I post videos on Scratch. Please do consider subscribing. Today we will see how to make a scrolling background in Scratch and we'll remix the runner project which was my first video on Scratch. The link should be on your screen right now or also in the description box below. Let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to delete this original sprite. And in Scratch, we cannot move backdrops. So here you can see state selected no motion blocks. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to export our backdrop and upload it as a sprite in Scratch and we'll move it that way. So first I'm going to choose one. Blue sky. And from the backdrops area, I'm going to right click and export this. Just going to save it there. Alright, so now let's go and upload a sprite and upload this blue sky. Alright, so here we have our backdrop as a sprite. So you could notice that when both the coordinates x and y are 0, our sprite is in the middle. When I change x to 240, it moves to the right side and when I do the negative way, negative 240, it moves to the left side. So initially we want our sprite to be at the middle of the screen, so which is 0, 0. Alright, so we're going to go events when green flag clicked. Just going to zoom in a little. For motion, we're going to go X and Y, 0. Next, I'm going to get a forever loop. And now we want to keep on changing our X. In order to move our sprite, so I'm going to go to motion and get this change x by 10. Notice when I click it, our sprite moves to the right side, the positive side. And when I do negative 10, this way our sprite moves to the left side, which is the negative side. This is the side where we want it to move. So put this inside the forever loop. Next, we're going to get an if then condition. And from operators, I'm going to get this less than operator. For motion, we're going to check if x position is less than a certain number. Let's see, when we move our sprite all the way to this area, we can move it a little bit more if that is possible. All right, like that. So you can see the x, the x is negative 446. So I'm going to say if x is negative 460, let's say. Uh, so if it's that, then we want to go to y0 and x will make it 460, which is all the way to the right side of the screen. Now let's click the green flag and see how it looks. All right. So you might have noticed this blank space, so we're going to fill it up by right clicking and duplicating the sprite. So here now when I hit the green flag, there is still that blank space. Where is the second sprite? That is because it's right on top of the first one here. So for that, we'll make some adjustments in the script of the second sprite. We'll make it start at the right side of the screen, which is x460. And to make it look better, we're going to go to the costumes and here I'm going to select this blue sky behind and there you could notice it has an outline. So we're going to make it no outline even for the first one. So, all right, right there. And now let's look at how it looks. Okay, great. Now I'm going to use the backpack option to transfer the sprites of the runner game into this project. If you haven't yet watched the backpack video, please go do. I'll put the link in the description box below and you should also be able to see it on your screen right now. All right, so now let's have a look at the project. 
all right so now here we have it the background is scrolling a little too fast in order of avery's walking speed so to match that what we're going to do is we're going to change this negative value to something a bit slower so i'm going to say negative two we're going to change it in the second sprite as well and we're going to go to the variables and show score and now let's test it out you could also try this code with any other background this was just an idea you could add so many things like in the second sprite you could put different elements so it does not look like a repetition it's all up to you i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like if you have any suggestions as usual let me know in the comment section down below Please subscribe for more amazing content and don't forget to follow me on my Insta at Samiha I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.